Belgium. We have finally made it here. We are actually now at Carl Lambrex Lofts. Um, we're going to take a look round his lofts and see some of his birds. Um, if that's all right with you, Carl? Yeah, very good. The weather is bad, <laughs> but uh, you can't ride around it the always. Best of it. You can see the loft. The, the longest loft is for young pigeons. Yeah. On the begin, there, there come 16 widowed cocks with all tents. The other three lofts, they are all together and they will go raise them with the door system mm -hmm. during the season. The small loft on the end is for my old cocks, widowed cocks, six cocks, yeah. six uh, yearlings, six old birds. And on the other side of the garden is uh, my race hens. There are 16 yearling hens and two old hens. Brilliant. They go for the middle distance and longer distance. Fantastic. Let's go and have a look for the same. Okay. <laughs> this is a 286 from 21. He's a small cock, but a very fast one. A grandson of the 05 pair, our best pair from years and years. There are now five direct sons and daughters of that pair on the lot. So he's the son of my tour hen. She won a lot of money on the Ronde van België. Uh, he was last year two times the first pigeon from the whole province on Kivre. Got a lovely eye. He's a very nervous cock. <laughs> okay. And this is my favorite, a blue white flight with a very special eye and a nice head. The 297 from 21, he was last year one of my favorites and he did fantastic in the races. Six times on Kivre, five times in the first 12 prizes in the Amant Verbond. Then he go to Wyon, a top prize, and then I try him on the middle distance and he won a few top prizes with this. Top result was a first prize for more than 1000 pigeons on Mala. He's a fantastic cock. And uh, my big favourite <laughs> for my race loft. Never pick a favourite, they've always told me. Hey? The, they've always told me never to pick a favourite. <laughs> this is also a sprint pigeon, a blue cock, very nervous man, <laughs> a fighter. He's a 299 from 21. He won last year more than 10 times in the first 10 prizes from Kivre and Wyon. That's brilliant. The lovely looking birds. This was also last year a yearling, now an old cock. 257 from 21 and he won last year three weeks after each other the first prize on Wyon. Oh that's brilliant. He's a lovely looking He's bike. also a grandson of the 05 pair so uh, they're fantastic. His father is from 13 just like the mother of the of the one who won two times the first of the provincial and uh, that are yeah one of our best breeders from that pair that we ever had then i do it for to remove the hands from the cocks yeah now at the moment you know get this one here and there stay the cocks for the widowed hens and they come together in that loft and they rest and train from this loft. Right, okay. And here stay the, the breeders in the in the summer, always open and uh, good for his health. 
Yeah, so all year round. All year all round. All year round. Stay there. That's pretty. It's good. It looks good. <laughs> <laughs> it's not something we're used to seeing. <coughs> seeing yeah. the open fronts. That's good. Yeah, that's a very good day for you. Yeah. Yeah, you haven't, you haven't stopped spinning that one. Wow. <laughs> Soft as silk. Nice as well, like really well balanced. But you see, they are in very good condition. Oh, definitely. This definitely. Avery. Yeah. You will see him now, mate? Yes, he was. Oh, see, how, see how I'm good for pies anyway. I like. I like pretty <laughs> colours. Yeah? Yes. I'm, I'm terrible for pretty colours. Oh. Fantastic. Thank you. Right, so we've now come across to Cyril's loft and we're going to take a look round into um, his new loft and then I'll show you across the front of this spectacular loft that's in front of me. It's a two-tier loft, so but let's have a look at that. Come in. <laughs> I shall show you here the loft inside. In the corner there are a few breathers. You may have a look. Come in. We breed there on my father's loft. The pigeons for our all three the lofts for my brother's place, for, for my place and for my father's place. We split the youngsters, the first round go to my father's place. Hey, stay here and the, the other part to my place. And the second round is for my brother's loft. So That's here are a few breeders. <laughs> Bob isn't necessary, look. And there also. Oh, look, a grizzle baby. Yeah. <laughs> I, is... I like grizzles. Yeah? Yes. Come on, Close the door we'll after you, door. you may come. Close that one for a sec. And then yeah. slide that one. And here. Last year was a lock for Wiederwood Cox, old, but now we change the system. The younger Cox from the second round come here. And uh, the older Cox go now all on the on the top loft on all together. Looking great, aren't they? Wow. These are cocks. Yes. The and here on the other side. Let me get out your way. Stand out your way. <laughs> here on the other side. There are hens. <laughs> These are a few of the second rounds. These are a few of the first rounds. They come together. No. And with this, these ones, we go try to race the middle distance and on the top loft the short distance. Right, right. No, I'm going to do that in a minute. And then he can show you his best pigeon. Yes. And I shall explain. <laughs> take care. Yes, that, yes. Small loft, but uh, very good. <laughs> Like 
This is one of the favorites of this year. He's a brother of my pigeon that won two times the first of the whole provincial. So uh, we have a young bird last year. He was fantastic. And we hope as a yearling he shall win a lot of top prizes. Wow. His nest mate is on the loft. There, that was last year, the 403 and 404. A lot of top prizes on Kivre. This is his nest mate. <laughs> Two fantastic cocks. Yeah. And this is the 501 from 20. Yeah. He won on two years six first prizes. Last year four first prizes. The three first races won he each time the first prize. And the fourth race won his nest mate, the 502, the, the first prize. Pigeon. No, it's camera shy, I don't want to look at it. <laughs> wow. It's lovely. Wow. Right, so we're now actually at Bert's Loss, which is uh, Carl's brother. Um, we're just going to have a quick look through there. But one thing I have spotted is what a bird bath that would be. <laughs> obviously, the shutters are across at the moment, but that's the swimming pool. And obviously, what a bird bath that is. Are these young birds in here? Young young birds in this one. Young birds. Young birds. Come in. Take care. <laughs> I'm still on the edge they of the step. Young birds from the seventh round. Wow. <laughs> oh, I like that one down there. So is this just young bird loft? This yeah. whole one here, yeah? Yeah. And the old hens that he raised come together with the youngsters. Right, so you mix the youngsters and the, the old hens? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Is that like more to help teach them? No, no, no. Or is no. it just that just we we have now a separate loft from hens here. Yes. So they all stay together with the youngsters. And they they raise the same yeah. system. Yeah. 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 Little crystal down there. Take care, <laughs> So to have to ask you a few questions, just so say so we can know um, the start of your racing journey. So obviously how long have you all been racing and uh, obviously how did you get into it? Yeah, uh, my father had his whole life pigeons. He learned it from his uncle okay. more than 60 years ago. He, he raced with pigeons with his oldest brother yes. on the farm of his parents. Yeah. And uh, so they learned the pigeon sport from, yeah, his uncle was a only for sprinting, he was a fantastic racer with uh, yeah. with old hens also years and years ago. And uh, his brother has booked fantastic results. When he married, he go race on another loft on his own. Yeah. And then he took the other the loft on the farm. And uh, his whole life is pigeons. And uh, so when I'm I was a child also to the lofts. I clocked pigeons from my 11, 12th year. So uh, our life is pigeons from the morning from, till from the, the evening <laughs> yeah. and from Monday till Sunday. Yeah, yeah. 
yeah. So it's, it's just life, isn't it, for your pigeons because you've yeah. been doing so and long. When I married two years later, I had also a loft on my own. And in 2019, my brother started also with his race, first race loft. Before that, he, he breed pigeons from us, but uh, not racing. He raised on his own from 2019. Right. And uh, so now we raise on three. On three different lots. Yeah. Do you race as a whole, or are you racing individually? Are you, are you are you separate, or are you racing as a whole? Yeah, we race all together and separate. Yeah. So you do both. We 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 have all three our own lot. Yes. But uh, we do it together. Yes, and obviously you said earlier about the fact that the breeding is mainly done here. Yeah, and, you, you and split we split the, the pigeons, and yeah. it's no worries, a pigeon there or there, no problem. Uh, but here on my father's loft was the last years more, uh, his whole life, more, the important thing was sprint. But with a few fantastic results on middle and longer distance, and on my brother's loft is middle distance and longer distance the yeah we prefer that yeah. yes yes what would you would you say um for any of you would have been like your most memorable race whether it, whether you won or not what was your most memorable race in in terms of just uh, you know a good day a good return or whatever yeah uh on my father's love was our first Fantastic result was he won a car in 1987 and also in 1997 wow. again. So uh, that was years and years. I told you September, October, mm -hmm. more uh, 10, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, it was the top months of the sprint here yeah. with a big money on the results, a car as top price. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, he, my father won him two times and I won him in 2004. So uh, that was here in the area, the important months for sprint. Yes. Yeah. And on my brother's loft this year, we won the first national from Argenton. Right, yeah. That is also a fantastic feeling to win a first prize national. Yeah. Uh, on my loft, I didn't won it. I won three times the second national, two times from Bush and one time from Argenton, but no first prize <laughs> national. Everything else but not first. Yeah. Yes. What would you say would be your uh, most favourite part of keeping racing pigeons? Would it be the racing or would it be the breeding or just in general just enjoy the whole thing? Yeah, you have to breed a lot pigeons and select very hard. Mm. Raise them as much as you can, and on the end of the season, only keep the, the best ones. Yeah. And uh, we try to breed a good with a good pigeon, and hope we can breed better. Yeah. What What do you look for in a pigeon when, when especially when you've got young birds? When you're selecting those birds, what do you look for in them? Is it is it the vent bones or just the way that they feel? What is it you look for in a pigeon? Yeah, a pigeon must be good in the hand, a good flight, but uh, the best thing is raise them and see what you know. I think no one knows, everyone knows a good or a, a nice pigeon. Yes. But who knows you a can't, good pigeon? You can't judge just from handling it, you've got to see what it does in the sky. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So obviously, you say that you race sprint, you race middle, and you race long distance. What's been your best result from those? Is it sprint or is it long distance? Or have you had good results over the form of all of them? Yeah, those? but we are, our whole life we raise sprint pigeons. Yeah. And uh, we have fantastic results here. My father is a, a lot of times general champion of the Amantverbond and that is top one of the uh, uh, Verbond from uh, fast pigeons. Mm. Everyone knows it. The other persons, you know it in, you see it in the newspaper that the Amantverbond has fantastic and fast pigeons. Yeah. 
So he is a few times general champion in the Amman Verbond, that is very good. But on middle distance and longer distance, we are not as long that we raised that, but it's, uh, yeah, we, we book very good results, and but you try every time better and better. Yeah, you try to better your last result. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what do what sort of advice would you give to a new starter, a new beginner that's coming into the sport? Because I know what we find, obviously, in the UK is that there isn't much information out there for no, new people. But coming maybe in. you can. You have in your own club a no friendship that. Uh, you give good that you can give uh, good information. Mm. Uh, not listen to everyone or. But yeah, <laughs> someone say that, say that. But maybe you can get an old person that you can trust mm. and that you give a bit information yeah. and you you say what you do good or wrong or and. That's my opinion that you not listen to everyone. Yes, yes, because there's a lot of information, there's lots of different parts to keeping pigeons. Yeah. So if you take information from everywhere, you're going to be overloaded with different ways to do, th do different things. Yeah, and so. also they say you can give products for that, for that, for that, but it's so much on the market mm. and it's sometimes easier yeah. uh, to raise pigeons than they than you think. Yes. Do you give the birds any supplements around racing or anything like that? Do you give them anything in the water? Yeah. And when they come up, there they are electrolytes in the water. Yeah. And uh, in begin, when they finish the race, they feed, they can feed as much as they can, the mm -hmm. same feed than, than when they started. But during the week, we give them light, light yeah. feed. And uh, on the end of the week again, the harder. Yeah, that's brilliant. Well, thank you very much for answering all my questions. And I hope that uh, we've given them a lot of information. Right, so what's that? It's been, it's been a very long weekend. Um, obviously, we went to Carl, Cyril and Birch yesterday. Um, Twitch obviously, I'm going to sort all that video out and upload it for you. Uh, we are now back at the airport. It is Monday morning. It is currently, let me tell you, 10 to 10 here, so it's actually 10 to 9 for you lot in, in England, uh, in the UK. Um, and so we are just sat waiting, we are going to go and grab a Burger King in a minute. And, uh, and then we'll be getting on our plane and heading home. Um, I hope you lot have had a lovely weekend. For those of you who went to the Scottish Lear Market, I went to the Dublin Lear Market um, and Epsom, that was on as well. Uh, so lots and lots of things going on this weekend in the UK, um, so I hope you've all had a lovely weekend doing all that. Um, like I said, we've had a fantastic, after the initial issues with getting out here, um, we've had a lovely weekend, we've had a lovely weekend, uh, like I say, going around the Lear Market and visiting Carl and Cyril and Bert, um, it's been a fantastic weekend, uh, and honestly, we, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't have changed it if we... We were debating on actually cancelling on Friday night when we were having obviously the issues with getting out here. Uh, we thought about not even bothering to come, we just thought we'd rebook it for another time and all that sort of thing. But I'm really glad we didn't because we've actually really enjoyed it. So um, yeah, so I hope you had a lovely weekend. I know we have and I'll see you all soon.